Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Ascending Voices. Today we're going to be talking to the General Manager for Customer and Brand at BMW South Africa, Tilosh Mudali. Hello Tilosh, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon and a very warm welcome to you. Thank you very much to me, it's a pleasure to be here. Lovely to find you meet you, I'm so, so excited. Um, I'd like us to start with your position at BMW. What is it that you do, what your responsibilities are? So at BMW South Africa, yes. I head up customer brand and channel development. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean? I know it's a long title. Mm -hmm. I head up customer interaction, brand communications, data analytics, and electromobility. Mm -hmm. So that's part of my portfolio. Now that's very interesting because you come from a finance background. Correct. Tell me how you got into marketing because as a numbers person, I'm always thinking, you know, first I look at you and I look at your personality. You don't come across as a bean counter. I promise you I am a bean counter. Oh, wow. um, I, do, I do like finance. Mm -hmm. However, um, over the 17 years that I've been with BMW South mm -hmm. Africa, I've moved uh, eight different jobs, ranging oh, wow. from finance to mm -hmm. after sales and supply chain, uh, to dealer development, um, head of mini and nine customer and brand. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I think it's important to have a solid foundation. So mm -hmm. being a bean counter is one thing, but I love to have fun. So yes. I find my current job uh, is excellent for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, what would you say is one of the main characteristics of what you do at BMW as somebody, you know, as head of marketing? So I think um, a year ago, a new department was created called Customer and Brand, and they mm -hmm. brought the two worlds together of uh, customer of mm -hmm. what the customer actually wants and brand communications mm -hmm. so um, we have that where we brought it together to say what do we actually want to communicate and what does the customer want so mm -hmm. it's about giving the right message to the right customer at the right time with the right offer mm -hmm. so I think the two worlds of marketing and communications with customer and now a newly formed data analytics team mm -hmm. um, to build all of that together mm -hmm. as well wow. now BMW has such an illustrious reputation you know, how does it feel to be working for a brand which is, you know, known the world over, you know, to be such a, a trusted brand, very beautiful, luxurious, um, most importantly, known to be one of the best? We are the best, um, not just one of the best. Uh, I think <laughs> totally. being part of the BMW culture and the BMW group, um, I, pr I beam with pride, first of all, that I've actually had the opportunity to work for the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. um, over the years you get to meet many people and being part of an international team as well I think you get exposed to so much more mm -hmm. um, you get exposed to many people different cultures I think the work ethic of being part of the international team as you said is mm -hmm. illustrious mm -hmm. so I'm very proud to be part of the BMW group mm -hmm. Wow it sounds amazing so it sounds like you know the group very very well when you say that you've been with BMW for 17 years I'm thinking you must have started when you were 12 Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you <laughs> um, I started in 2003 mm -hmm. at Plant Roslyn mm -hmm. so um, where all the magic actually happened happens and we build uh, the BMW X3 mm -hmm. so right here in our home ground oh, so very wonderful. proud of that oh wonderful um, I'd like us to go back to when you first uh, started your career did you mm. always know that you're going to be in marketing uh, did you study marketing or no, you studied accounting I studied accounting yes. so um, even if you asked me two years ago mm -hmm. would I be um, general manager of customer and brand for BMW South mm -hmm. Africa I would have probably said no. Mm -hmm. it, was, it wasn't on the cards at that time. Mm -hmm. But um, my journey has brought me here and I'm so grateful for where I am because uh, it just gelled so well with my personality. So I was um, about to say. <laughs> <laughs> being a very positive, um, very confident and outspoken individual, mm -hmm. I uh, really like what I do. And mm -hmm. I think it's important to have that solid foundation but also find something that you love to do. Yeah. And uh, I have the passion for BMW. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me now, it's about telling the story of BMW and the messages out there. Mm -hmm. so. And you know, naturally, I've watched how you interact with your team. Uh, what would you say is your leadership style? Because I've seen how close you are to them and how you're laughing and how you bounce off each other, uh, which um, I must say I was very impressed by. I was like, wow, this is, this is teamwork. <laughs> it makes the dream work. <laughs> teamwork is the dream work. Yes. So, um, I think I don't have really one type of leadership style. I think it's an amalgamation of few things. So it's about situational leadership, because uh, every day is a different day. And it's about strength-based leadership, because I think every person comes with their unique talent. And it's about uh, honing onto that talent so that that person can reach their true potential. Um, for me, it's about being inclusive and getting everyone involved. 
um, celebrating the small successes that we have. Don't wait for the very big ones. Um, every day needs to be celebrated. And, uh, and from a leadership style, um, I want to grow future leaders. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's very important yeah. right now. Yeah, no, 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 that's very, very important. And I like the fact that you brought it up because it makes people want to given their best every day and you know when you're given an opportunity to learn you're given an opportunity to do better learning right now is the new loyalty yes. so uh, I think to be continuously learning and I do it every day I mm -hmm. uh, love to read mm -hmm. love to listen to TED talks I think it's about continuous learning yes. and um, never too old to learn no, so, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. how do you think women are doing as far as entering into the industry and taking leadership positions if you look around, it is very male dominated. Mm -hmm. However, in the last few years, you would see that there are women being appointed in senior roles and the board of directors. So women are emerging into the motor industry. I think we come in with um, an array of skills. Um, we come in with good IQ, EQ, and now AQ, which is being adaptable. Mm -hmm. And a woman brings a whole different dynamic into a workplace. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very encouraging, you know, to see ladies being involved in the industry and um, taking up leader, leadership positions. It says to a lot of young girls that, you know, we can work for a brand like BMW and actually be at the highest level that one can actually reach. So, uh, well done to your team. Thank you very much. Uh, BMW takes it very seriously yeah. with uh, developing our talent about succession planning and finding the right person for the role as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very important for BMW as a brand mm -hmm. and I think as women in leadership we need to support other women as well. Yeah. I know you're a mother of two. How do you balance both you know, home life as well as work life? Um, if anyone told you that there is balance, they'd be lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is no balance um, between work and home. There is no 50-50. Mm -hmm. um, you need to give your all to both, both spheres of life. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's more about um, finding the best of both worlds mm -hmm. and um, actually integrating the both worlds. So mm -hmm. I have two boys. Um, and for me, if there was something I needed to go to school at at 9 in the morning, mm -hmm. then I'd go to school. Yeah. And if there's a dinner meeting that I need to attend uh, in the evening, then I do the meeting. Mm -hmm. I love what you're saying because a lot of women feel so guilty. You know, the higher they, they, they get into the corporate ladder, they feel like, you know, certain areas of their lives have been neglected. And uh, it's encouraging to hear somebody at your level saying, you know what, nobody has it together like that. Do what you have to do when you have to do it and, and that's it. You know what I've learned, uh, you don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah. Um, you'll get to it, uh, don't worry about it. Yeah. And I think it's about um, having that attitude that you can do it um, and having the mindset of mm -hmm. being positive. Mm -hmm. um, that emulates in whatever you do. So um, if you're at home and you're working, then you're not fully at home yeah. as well. So you need to find a way to give your all where you are. Yeah. Now, uh, COVID has really given us, it's literally thrown us a curveball, you know, giving us challenges and as well as opportunities. How would you say as BMW and as yourself, you know, you have responded to the status quo as far as marketing is concerned or communicating the brand? Yeah. Um, I think in the lockdown level five, um, we realized that it was quite a, a shock to the system. Mm -hmm. um, everybody went online mm -hmm. and um, we could actually operate as BMW South Africa. Mm -hmm. So in January this year, we started with our digital sh um, sales platform, which allows someone to buy a car from start to end it's online. Wonderful. So to me, if you have your phone, you can buy a car right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you could actually buy a car mm -hmm. um, by setting your budget, by trading in your mm -hmm. current car. You can pick a new car, oh, wow. do your finance application and pick a dealer to pick up your car from. Mm -hmm. So BMW had started that in, in Jan mm -hmm. and in March we started the BMW Anywhere campaign mm -hmm. to say that you could actually buy your car anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we were ready as a brand and in lockdown we were actually able to get orders from customers. Wow. So while everybody else was closed, um, we could actually have customers ordering a BMW. Mm -hmm. And that helped with our, when we got back into lockdown level four, mm -hmm. that we had orders from customers to pick up their cars. Oh, wow. So BMW actually could do business. Yeah. Um, and in lockdown level four, we were then able to service our cars. The dealerships were opened. Mm -hmm. um, essential workers could have their cars serviced. I think as a brand, we were very adaptable. Mm -hmm. uh, being in an agile environment, uh, we were able to actually work. And uh, for me, it, it didn't feel like we had to shut down our entire operation. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Well, so. that's very, very impressive. It was very impressive as a brand. I'm very keen to hear what your wish is for young women in this country. You know, as we celebrate Women's Month, I think it's 
very important that we share a message, send a message, you know, that says there is a space for you in, in, in whatever industry you want to be in. So what would you say your, your message is to women who are watching this interview right now? So to women watching the interview, um, and I wish someone told me this 20 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, I would say is um, be bold, be brave, um, wear the sparkly shoes if you have to wear the sparkly yeah. shoes. So uh, I think that's important, you know, try new things, mm -hmm. be responsible for your own career. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's sitting back and waiting for what will BMW do for you? Yes. But I think you need to also take responsibility for your career growth and, mm -hmm. and what you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, I think a very important message would be, and uh, something that COVID taught us, mm -hmm. is have an attitude of gratitude. Yes. And I think it's so important because um, we've now realized that we actually don't need as much. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not about how much we need or want, mm -hmm. it's uh, how much, how little we can actually survive. Yes. And I think that's so important for our women today. And uh, a big message would be, um, women should support women. Yeah. And um, I do it all the time. I think I have a, a team of women at the office. I also have a big circle of friends mm -hmm. and family that are very supportive of women in business and uh, supporting each other. That uh, if I can't do something, they chip in to help. Yes. And, uh, maybe uh, we think about it like women are, we say, myself i'm just one drop but together we're an ocean absolutely stronger uh, and, and, together and, and we're much stronger together so yeah. um yeah my last question to you is we both know like everybody else the history of this country we come from a very imbalanced society and i'd like to know what is your wish what's your dream for you know our country um, you know, as far as women are concerned, I know you work for a company that's very involved in community building and we see the work that's been done by both the private and the public sector in really trying to assist where they can as far as developing, whether it's women or communities. What would you say your wish is? Where would you like to see South Africa in the next, say, 10 years? I think for me and being a mom um, at heart, I think it's really important that every child gets a solid foundation. Um, so I'm very proud to talk about BMW building a school in Karunkua. Oh, wonderful. And I think it's um, something that would help with kids getting the solid foundation they require in terms of education. I think it's important that kids uh, have the basic needs they require. Um, they don't need to be stressing about the world out mm. there right now. And I think if we can get that right, if we can educate our kids, if we can keep them safe from violence mm -hmm. and from abuse, I think we can um, create a generation that um, would really be there to aspire to become our future leaders mm -hmm. as well. And it all starts with when you're little. That's and true. Um, every, every girl's little dream um, doesn't need to be shattered by rape and abuse mm -hmm. and violence. And for me, I think uh, if we could be a part of society that can build our future mm -hmm. leaders, I'd be very proud to say that I'm part of BMW South Africa. Yeah, and you guys are doing a, a wonderful job. You know, I, I do watch what BMW does. I have mm -hmm. been for a while and I'm very, very impressed by it. So congratulations to you. Thank you very much. And thank you so much, Lush. I've absolutely loved talking to you. Oh, thank you for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. And happy Women's Month. Thank you very much. <laughs> you too. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you.